My name is Christina Rombaita Del Rio. I'm from the Rockefeller Foundation. I just uh, facilitated a panel on engaging the private sector in supporting local adaptation. One of the main messages that came out of the session is, is um, not whether we need to engage the private sector in supporting local adaptation, but really that that's a necessity and we need to think harder on how to do that, um, how to use the skills, uh, expertise, access, influence of the private sector to support broader uh, broader adaptation, and that there are multiple roles that the public sector, NGOs, civil society, donors, and others can provide in terms of, of getting the private sector to, to work uh, for adaptation, and in particular to, to reach the poorest and, and most vulnerable. There was a, a really interesting question on how do how do we make sure that that the poorest are reached through these private sector mechanisms and examples that that were discussed by the panelists and I, I, and some associated questions around well how are the the rights of of these communities protected um, how do you ensure that they get good quality services and inputs and products um, you know in in especially particularly vulnerable or marginalized groups. Um, and if we're talking about very remote or not market connected areas, how do we reach them? How do we extend the services, be they insurance services um, or, or market-based um, value chains? Um, how do you make sure they get to some of the poorest communities? Um, and there were a lot of good, good answers in terms of how to do that. Um, a lot of it is around supporting farmer organizations and user groups and empowering them uh, to ensure that quality is maintained, give them voice, strengthen their capacity to negotiate and bargain uh, with, with private sector entities. Um, and then also recognize that farmers, uh, input providers, uh, are also private sector actors and so we need to strengthen their abilities, their access to finance um, and the like. There's, there's a divergence in terms of how, um, how much faith uh, different people have in the private sector to support adaptation. Um, I think for some it's, it's a marginal activity um, and uh, you know at best and, and really confined to CSR types of engagements um, or the private sector you know climate proofing their own footprints um, and their own business operations but not really extending beyond that to, to communities. Um, and then I think there's a, another camp that, that, that thinks that engaging the private sector and market-based mechanisms for adaptation are an important route to scale um, and to scaled up action um, and, and really arguing that we need to be engaging uh, more of these entities to, to support adaptation. Um, I think they're both right <laughs> and have a, an element of truth to them. And so this is a, a tricky subject that, uh, yeah, that needs further work to, to negotiate. Um, one of the key adv advocacy asks is um, to, to really require private sector um, entities to dedicate funding to um, adaptation and climate risk management. Um, and investing in resilience. Um, uh, several countries have laws that, that uh, require certain environmental investments or civil society investments uh, above a certain profit level or a certain percentage. Um, and so how can we scale that up and make sure that some of those funds are used uh, to support climate adaptation?